I just got a new K40 laser cutter. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how it works. Um, on these particular letters, I've already cut one pass, um, but this material is really thin and the lettering is thin, so if I try to cut them in one pass, cut them fully out, um, they catch on fire. So I do it in two passes, and right now it's off, so you can't really see the settings very well. You can see there are no tick marks on the regulation knob. I'm going to have to add some. And this is all the controls you've got. Just the laser on-off and overall on-off and the current regulation. Then connected to that is my laptop. And, oops, sorry about that glare. You can kind of see the lettering. So all I have to do is uh, tell it to uh, output to the machine. It, you might have heard it in the background. It moves itself. Got a few settings to pick from based on whether you're engraving or outlining. Get those set up. Uh, make sure you've got it, the laser start position where you want it. And then once I've got that done, uh, double check the cutting speed. I'm using around 20 millimeters per second. Um, like I said, if I go too slow, it catches on fire, and if you go too fast, it won't cut through. So once we've done that, we are ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser on. And I do have safety glasses on too, which they are not rated for a laser, so hopefully they will help a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and say output. And now it's starting to cut. And as always, I have one hand on the uh, laser on off switch and one on the computer to turn it off there if I need to. So it just finished. I didn't want to make you guys wait too long. Lit up. As you can see, some of the letters um, are fully cut and actually fell out already. These other ones, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't look like they quite cut all the way through. So I'm actually going to run a third pass and I will turn off the laser manually when it gets to these letters that have already been cut out because if I run over them again it's probably going to cut them in half or do something funny so let's try that back to the computer kind of annoying that it doesn't save your settings, but not too hard to set them back up. Also, before I start that, I'm going to turn this down a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn the laser on. Output from the computer. And keep an eye on it. Make sure my letters aren't cutting and uh, catching on fire. And you can see I'm running a little lower now. Was it about 15 milliamps? Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the power. I think those letters have already been um, cut okay. It's kind of neat since it's manual. I can just flip that laser switch on and off whenever I want. Next to that E. And I just flip the laser back on. It's not shooting right now, but there it goes. Okay, 
and I just flipped it back off because it looks like we're done. Let me go ahead and stop this. There is a stop button on the machine. Once you hit that, you can see the laser homes itself. And make sure the laser's off before you open it. In there and kind of take a look. Now I would be careful, sometimes this fan, um, it'll suck the letters in if you're not careful. So I've got a really high tech solution. I just set a little piece of cardboard to block the fan until I've pulled the letters out. So I have lost several already. I'll show you a few I've already got. So these are some of the ones I've already cut. And uh, you can see uh, here's a, uh, oops, here's kind of what they look like. And uh, I also have, uh, I tried this, these letters in a different font. And I could not, it was too skinny. I, they kept catching fire <laughs> like crazy. The other thing I found that uh, depending on, on the font itself, sometimes the letters are just too close together. So I would make the font how I want it. And then I would, in the software, manually add a space between each letter. And that would help it so that the flame wasn't getting each letter so badly um, and burning them to, charring them to nothing. Uh, anyways, that's a little bit about my new laser cutter, and I'll post another video when I try to cut something else. Oh, I guess I didn't tell you, sorry. This is, um, this material I'm cutting, it's just a, a piece of craft plywood from uh, Michaels. It's only a 64th of an inch thin, and it is painted just with craft paint. So, we'll uh, try another material later. Thanks for watching.